Loud. You shouldn't. You look like the mail order outdoorsman. Thank you. Uh uh. You are supposed to be taking the week off. You're just gonna find something in here that's going to upset you. You're right. You're absolutely right. Why the girl? Honey, this is the first time I've left you alone. I for should any... be worried. Daddy, you are a great district attorney, but you're a lousy hunter. Never left you alone for a week, honey. I just want you to listen carefully, and I want you to promise me three things. Number one... Do my homework. Well, don't just do your homework. I want you to attack it with a vengeance. You know, the difference between law school and learning the locksmith trade through the mail could be something as simple as one single math assignment. <laughs> What's two? No boys in the house while I'm away. We already had the genetics talk, honey. I have to say it. I know. And number three, and most important, no cutting class. class. Until then, your daddy's little girl. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Be a good girl. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Welcome to the kill zone, pal. Hi. I heard the mallards run about 15, 20 pounds. You want a bag of mallard? Yeah. That's why I'm out here camping. Come on. Like the city. Now you smell like the earth. Thanks. Uh, it's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> you know, you ought to bottle that stuff.
And so minerals is a world of immense complexity and fascination. Well, come in. You're just about to see the best part. Oh, the excitement of chemistry. Take a sodium and chlorine. Together, they combine to give us sodium chloride. Can anyone name that? Dwight. Salt. Salt? Correct. Common table salt. But sodium and chlorine separately are highly volatile. Chlorine dropped into water gives off a deadly gas. Didn't they use that stuff in World War I? Oh, it was outlawed, even too horrible for warfare. Breathing it, it caused the lungs to burn, then melt. Watch what happens when our friend Mr. Sodium goes swimming in ordinary H2O. You do know what that is, Dwight. Water. It's water. <laughs> Shut up. Now that was just a small piece of sodium. Imagine what a lump like this would do. Smart ass, 30 push ups. Concentrate, Woods. Concentrate. Hey. Hi, Gary. staring at you. What are you looking at? Nothing. Oh, I think Brian likes you. Oh, Brian, she likes you. She's available Friday night. Hey. Go to your house, huh? Why? Well, your father's still hunting. We can be alone. What do you have in mind? Uh, I got my brother's ID, grab some beers. But Dwight, but I can see through you like a piece of glass. Colleen? Who asked you, hmm? Well, beer is low rent and romance. Paul's got class. She deserves a hell of a lot better. Uh, like what? Like your ring. Oh. <laughs> your ring. I think it's about time she got something for her pain. Yeah. It'd be nice. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get something to eat. You want anything? Well, if I can't have your ring, I have this craving for a hot dog. <laughs> Who's this for? You. 
How did you know that I wanted one? You had that look. You're not gonna eat that thing, are you? Why not? I'm hungry. <laughs> Brian beat you to it. Get in the car. Why? Get in the car! Roll up the window. Look, Brian. Uh, we were friends once, you know? We used to do things together, but it's not gonna happen anymore. I went to a hospital. I'm better now. See, when I broke my leg, uh, they took an x-ray to see if it was fixed. When it was, they uh, took out the cast and sent me home. But you went to a mental hospital with a broken mind. Now, there's no way they can just take a picture and see if that's OK. They just have to guess. What are you so afraid of? <coughs> I can forgive you. Brian, old buddy, hmm? let me make one thing clear. Leave Paula and me alone. Hmm? Boy, come on! District attorney. Hmm? Take it off. Oh, you won't mind. Your father. Your father's a little bigger than I am. But of course, I'm much bigger where it really counts. <clears throat> Grades improve. At that rate, we'll never do it. Attention, faculty and students. This is Mr. Dante. I want to thank the person responsible for the obscene caricature of me in the New Wing Lavatory. Oh, you were very generous uh, with your portrayal, but. In the future, I do wish that you would restrict your talents to the art class. I don't... I don't want you to do this. Don't tell me you're jealous. It's art. Class is about to start. Shouldn't you be bouncing a ball somewhere? You like boys, don't you? <laughs> Nope. Now, get out of here. I want you all to be mature. No laughing or sniggering. What are we going to do today? Action poses. The dynamics of muscle in relation to the form. For example, say Paula was reaching for an apple. What should I do? Bend over and pick it up. Let's stay in that position. Do you see the different muscle groups? They enlarge to facilitate the movement. Can you see the stretching? 
the definition. What are you doing back there? You, come here. Oh, you want to be in my art class? I'll put you in my art class. We can always use another model. Here, hold it high. And Paula, you reach for it. Way up. Up. Now, see how the center line is straight from head to toe? The muscles are tense. It's all This is your last chance to purchase tickets for tomorrow's basketball game. What if I come down with rickets, or lupus, or I have a grand mal seizure? Is the ticket refundable? It's only 50 cents. It's not the 50 cents, it's the principal. I am the principal, and I say unless you buy a ticket, you will be clapping erasers until your hair turns gray. I'll, uh, have two. Thanks for the sale. Ooh, I'm just trying to drum up a little school spirit. Well, you're doing great. Yeah, flattery will get you everywhere. Stop by my office, would you? Why? It's a surprise. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you scheduled to work in the office this week? I'll be in tomorrow. Well, I have an appointment with the Bunyan doctor, so I won't be here. The files will be locked. Oh, no problem. I got my key. Okay. On the floor. Try it on. I'll turn around. Mr. Dante, you'll see me tomorrow. I can't wait. <laughs> uh, just sign this. It says that you will take good care of the uniforms. Oh, you know I will. Thank you, Mr. Dante. I'm never going to forget this. Neither will I. Doing in my car. Mm, kissing you? Mm. <laughs> you should be home studying. Studying. 
So what did the principal want, hmm? He wanted to give me the new cheerleading uniform. Cool. Cool, let's drive. Let's just get out of here, hmm? Huh? I can't. Why? I got homework. It's due tomorrow. So you do it tomorrow. Get a six-pack, we'll celebrate. I'm sorry, it's... It's just that schoolwork's more important right now. Schoolwork is more important right now. You know, it sounds like something your father would say. I'm out of here. Dwight! Come on, don't be mad! Hey, I don't get mad. I get even. I need to get my math book. You know, book, read, book, book. The thing with pages. Yeah. Never saw one. The school is closed. OK, Schultz, come on. I have to get this book. I will fail my class if I do not get this book. Schultz! Schultz! Come back! Schultz! Asshole! What's the matter, Schultz? We'll let you in? No. Fuck yeah, it. Let's just get a beer. Let's do it. Come on. Get some beer. <laughs> There's art. There's dirt. Cream and beer. <laughs> hey guys, I'm studying. We want something. Mm -hmm. I will give you a kiss. Then go. Well, I'll take a kiss, but what we really want is the key to the school files. I can't. I can't give this to you. They, they gave me this key because I'm responsible. We just want to see what's in Brownwood's files. Come on, aren't you curious, hmm? Look, you have my solemn word. We'll be in and out in 10 minutes. No one will ever know. Just be our little secret, hmm? Huh? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> hey, come on, Dwight. Give her some incentive. Let her have your ring. Uh, <laughs> nobody gets my family ring. <laughs> Is it worth seeing the file? Hmm? Just give her the stupid ring, man. <laughs> Come with us. No. Come with us. No way. Sure not. Yeah. Positive? Huh? Huh? Bye. Bye. I got shotgun. Come on, let's blow, Dodge. <laughs> kind of hard to study without these? You are such a jerk. All right, move it out. Like some beer? No. Some ice cream? No. <laughs> 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 
What a shame. Schultz will have to fix it. Dinks. Boy's locker room. It smells like something died in here. <laughs> Spot the enemy. Hey, Dane. Squeeze the trigger. Retreat. <laughs> Smoke a joint. Just put these here to stop you. Yeah. Hold off my eyebrow. Okay? Ladies first? Why, thank you. No, I said ladies first. Do I what if Schultz catches us? Huberhoff, Victor, Weldon, Woods. Yeah. Brian Woods. I heard he was a cannibal. Oh, how can he eat another person? With a knife and a fork. Student Brian Woods, age 17, readmitted to school September 5th, 1988. Da -da 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 -da. See medical report. Now, if Brian is a cannibal, what do you think his favorite part of the body is? Breasts. She likes that white meat. And might I add, yours are big enough to feed a family of four? Yeah. Reason for admittance violent schizophrenic. Treatment electroconvulsive therapy. What's electroconvulsive therapy? Shock treatment, man. We gotta go. No, we don't. I have a lot more to find out about Mr. Brian Woods. <laughs> Here's mine. Gary, check this out. Put it back to her. Come on. He got shocked every day he was in the hospital. Put it back. I'm gonna change my IQ. Every single day. How could they do that to him? 300 too high. And then they suddenly released him. 75 watts? Is that all they did to him? My stereo eats more than 75 watts. This is the good stuff. Wait. class. Today we're going to study the relationship between time, distance, and speed. Space over time equals speed because time is space <coughs> divided by speed. Do you understand? Any questions? <laughs> Now, the train leaves Chicago at 7, heading for Boston. It goes 50 miles an hour. How long does it take the train to arrive at its destination if Boston is, hypothetically, 400 miles away? Dwight. Look at the answer on your paper. Uh, 75 watts. <clears throat> what were you doing last night, Dwight, while you were supposed to be completing your homework? Well, Mr. Glenn, you know, I tried to get my book, but that janitor... The janitor! Uh, just not the homework-eating dog. That's another zero in my grade book. 
One more, you fail the class. Mr. Williams, David, seriously, I tried. Who has the answer? Is it eight hours? Eight, yes. Very good. Quiet, class. Quiet. There isn't a species of bird or animal out here that I can't identify. Mother Nature talks to you. Sounds like Mother Nature has cramps. That was the cry of a bullfrog making a lonely cry for its mate. What the hell do you want? I knew I'd find you guys doing something like this. Hey, Mr. Ingle, they're over here. No, don't here. tell me. Mr. Nicholson. Hi, Dan. This is my son, Dwight. This is Mr. Nicholson. He's from the university. He's here to scout you for that basketball scholarship. I don't have to tell you, it took a lot of talking to get him to come down to see you. My men are on the court for practice at least one hour before each game. Seems like your son wants to practice something else. No, sir. No, sir. Uh, Dwight was just going inside, weren't you, son? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why don't we go on in? Bitch. <laughs> I've been thinking about you. Oh, good luck. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dante. Do a cheer for me. <laughs> I bet he kisses like a lizard. <laughs> okay, girls, let's hurry up. The stands are packed. Come on. Our team isn't that great, right? Right? They should give the fans something better to cheer about. <laughs> You're unbelievable. <laughs> Look great from down here. Thanks, Gary. What is he doing down here? Oh, he looks for change that people drop out of their pockets and he looks up for skirts.
Wait, 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 Think you're doing? You're supposed to use your head, not your fist, you idiot! Your scholarship just walked out the door. Here's your mystery date. Still gone? Yeah. <gasps> Why don't you just take me home? I gotta study. Touch a thing unless I'm down here watching. Your brakes may need a little adjustment. So adjust them. So have you worked in your car much? No. I haven't been underneath the car in a long time. How come? Hey, I just policy outside. Well, that's where the problem is. You know, I used to like working on cars with you. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the time under my dad's car? We took that part out. Didn't put it back in. Well, we were just fooling around. I wasn't fooling around. I never said a word about it. Well, that, that was a long time ago, Brian. I'll never forget what you taught me. When you use a screwdriver, it's always righty-tighty and righty lefty-loosey. <laughs> Jeez, you remember that. <laughs> I never forget. What? 
time does the train get there? I call Colleen's mother. They can't find them anywhere. White. I'm sure it's nothing. Then where are they? What time does the train get there, Dwight? Mr. Glenn, can't you ever give Dwight a break? Yeah. Can I just have one private moment about something very... Get out, both of you! Tell it to Mrs. Connacht! Out! Both of you! Once friends, always friends. Shut up. Dwight Ingalls, let's go. When you're in there with Mrs. Cano, just think about her mustache and you'll be okay. <laughs> teachers. Brian Woods. Come on, let's go. You know why you were sent down here, don't you? I was disrespectful. None of your teachers want you in their classrooms. Who doesn't want me? I've got notes from your gym teacher, from your art teacher, and now from your math teacher saying you're uncooperative, disruptive. Those are lies. You interrupted me. But those are lies. Are you saying that your teachers are liars? What do you think? I think you're like every other teenager who sat in that chair. You believe that the adult world has colluded to cause you harm, when nothing could be further from the truth. We want to help you take your mind and shape it. We want to put our values and virtues in your bodies so that we, the teachers, can live on in future generations. Are you willing to accept what we have to give you? I'd rather suck donkey dick. As of today, you're suspended. Scraping the scales off society. <laughs> hey! Hey, you! You goddamn kids, you think you own the place. Get off of my floor with those shoes. I'm sorry. We'll go around. Sorry doesn't get the skid marks off. Big deal. You bugs. There is a time to be real and a time for manners. I'm going to teach you to say please and thank you and how to survive in this shit house. I'm the only teacher that you'll remember. I'm the custodian of your fucking destiny. That man is fried. <laughs> so what are you going to do this afternoon? Math. You're going to do homework. Well, I ain't got no basketball scholarship. So... Now I gotta get in school by using my brain.
do you want? What? What do you want? What are you doing? Kids in here, we'll bring him out. Let him go. Get help! Help! Get help! 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 Do you understand English? Help! Help! Quiet! The principal, Mr. Dante! Take a look at this! This is a disaster! Please! Everyone, stay calm. The police are doing everything they can. Calm? Yes. Calm. Calm? Kids are missing. 
A teacher's missing. Mrs. Knox is dead. If we stay calm, we'll all be dead. We need action. Please. Let's hear what my son saw. Please. Tell everyone what you saw. We all must remain calm. What did you see? There was blood everywhere. There was blood on Brian Wood's hand. Stop it, Mr. Ingalls. Now you are creating a mob. Animals. You better go home. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I will do everything in my power to send Brian Woods away where he can do no more damage. In light of his actions, his worth as a human being has been called into question. For this human scum... No. How about uh, plague? Blight. Vermin. Vermin. I like vermin. Okay. <clears throat> For this vermin, I suggest nothing short of permanent confinement in a state mental hospital. Some place where they can simply throw away the key. Attention, faculty and students. To be or not to be. This is Mr. Dante. What kind of lousy option is that, huh? Forget it, Dwight. I gotta get some grades somehow. You have all heard of the tragic death of our beloved vice principal, Mrs. Knocked. <laughs> As yet, the murderer has not been captured. The police are doing everything in their power. Man, Brian is in Missouri by now. Please suck. Tomorrow, there will be a memorial service at Holy Baptist, at Elk and Shaker, to show our love for Mrs. Knopt, who was cut down in the line of duty. What's this? It's the truth. Chubby, let us have the states for a few. No problem. Okay. Check out line 248. The suspect was involved in an early morning argument with his father. Brian's father. Got into his car and started for work. 829. Wood Sr. applied his brakes, but nothing happened. He pounded on the pedal, but his foot went to the floor. Why, officer? His brake lines had been cut. 8.29 and 30 seconds. <clears throat> Out of control, Wood Sr. slams into the gas station. 8.30 exactly. Wood Sr., Brian's father, was dead. When you arrested the suspect, did he say who, who taught him to cut brake lines? Paula, I think we've read enough. Who taught him 
to cut brake lines. A friend. A friend taught him. Did he say specifically which friend? He said, you don't betray a friend. Who's that? I'm scared. Be or not to be. Eat me, Dwight. Go <laughs> <laughs> tilt it a little bit. Keep your elbows straight. Oh shoot. That's all right. Just pull it straight back. Whoa. <laughs> Just because some loon goes around killing doesn't mean you have to day off. Wear your clothes. I already put them in the car, but it's just bows and arrows. You can't participate in class without them. I don't mind. Well, I do, mister. I want to see you here tomorrow with your gym gear on. We'll have a private little gym class together, just the two of us. Tomorrow is Mrs. Knock's memorial service. I'm going. Mrs. Knock. I wouldn't cross the street for that old rag, and you wouldn't either, Dwight. You don't show tomorrow, you fail. You fail gym class, you don't get your diploma. No diploma, no future, no nothing. Teachers, I want to ruin my life. It's in your imagination. Don't you think the two of us make the perfect couple? Stop it! I gotta go to school tomorrow. First, sleep it off. Here? No, not here. Go home. Wait! I... I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. Just don't scream. Please don't kill me. Kill you? 
not going to kill you. I need you to help me. Help you do what? Help me find the killer. What? I didn't kill Mrs. Connacht. I need you to help me find whoever did. I don't believe you. <laughs> don't. Please. Don't. Is that what you really believe? Go on, take him. Go on. Stab him. Stab me if you think I'm the killer. Because if you don't, it's my word against everyone else's. So go on, stab me. Kill me. Kill me if you think I did it. Don't touch me. probably heard that I killed my father. Yeah. I didn't love him. But I didn't want to see him dead either. Just hurt. Badly hurt. Considering how he treated my mother and me, that was generous. When Mrs. Connacht was... you ran. I'm strange, right? Demented, deranged. They'd love to hang me for that woman's death. What about Colleen, Gary, the art teacher? What about them? They're missing. <laughs> Great. More people dead. They'll blame those on me, too. Are you telling me the truth? I'm trying. Some of them so far up to come out his fucking nose. Dwight, you gotta calm down. I'm just getting started. Dwight! Hello? I found some clothes. Dwight sounded crazy. We gotta help him. And sacrifice myself for Dwight? I already did that once. Follow a look at this. I can't. It's a copy of the murder. Look, you could even see part of his hand. What? That ring belongs to the killer. I know. That ring belongs to Dwight. We gotta stop him. We must help him. I'll do it for you, Paula. Not Dwight. Glad to see you made it, Dwight. Go change. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you! Fuck you, too. <laughs> you can't talk to students like that. 
Fuck you. Now suit up. I'll be back. This is a dangerous place for a pretty girl like That's you. That's right. He's after me. You two shouldn't be playing games no, in here. No, you don't understand. Ryan is not the killer. It's Dwight. Dwight is the killer. He killed Mrs. What? Connacht. He killed Colleen. Colleen and Gary.
I think we're safe in here. Which door? Get it right or die. The train leaves Chicago at 8, heading east. Another train leaves Boston, heading west at 8. At what time do the trains collide? X equals 1 or 2? You know what it means, don't you? Oh, my God. The answer's in the problem. Do it. Hurry. Yes, yes, set it up. Uh, a train leaves Chicago. Distance divided by speed. Hurry! Damn! Do it, hurry! I can't think! Uh, carry. You, you add distance you and sure the don't talk to me. I can't concentrate. You were the math teacher. Just do it. I'm not prepared. Subtract. Subtract. Yes, yes, I've got it, I've got it. X equals one. The trains all collide at 1 a.m. That's the door over there, number one. Are you sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. Now let's go. There, you see? I was able to figure it out. No, aren't you glad I'm a teacher? Wrong door. He didn't account for the difference in time zones. He shoots! He scores! Yeah! I'm better than Dwight. But you knew that already, didn't you? So how about it? Do you want to go out with me? Please? <laughs> Leave me alone. Alone? That's how I spent the last five years of my life, courtesy of your father. Do you know that your father was the first person to call me a murderer? Me, a murderer? Well, I thought about that. I was a murderer. It wasn't as prestigious as being a doctor or a lawyer. But the hours were good. And so I thought, why not be the best in my profession? like your father was not his. How could I perfect the art of killing? Or better yet, take the ultimate professional challenge and kill beyond the confinements of time or space? How could I kill people in the past, or the future, or change the course of history? Forever. Why are you doing this? I like you, Paula. Really, I do. So don't take it personally when I kill you. Just doing my job. Because, because I'm one hell of a guy. A Yankee doodle. 
kill or die. Remember, Sonam explodes in contact the water. Get back here! When Brian comes in, we're blown to pieces. You're a Yankee Doodle, baby, to you. You too must kill or die. Time to burn. <laughs> you shouldn't have been so late for class, Dwight. That wasn't sodium. It was just a rock. Nice try, though. Start. He'll hurt you live. So 
promise. One pro to another. Do it. Go on. You decide Dwight's fate. Uh, Righty tighty or lefty loosey? Which is it? Let him out of that thing! Let him out! One twist right, and I make it tight. Twist it back! Does it make bones crack? Let him out! I told you it was a tight friendship. Now I'm gonna make it even tighter. Stop it! I'll do whatever you want. Let him out of that thing! Of course you will. I thought it was going to be more romantic than this, but I guess I can't have everything. Last night I was a perfect gentleman. I minded my manners. Now I don't know. I have this strange tingle all over my body. Have you ever felt my tingle? Ryan? You better hurry, for Dwight's sake. Do whatever you want. Ryan, would you just, just do me a favor? What? Would you just close your eyes? Close my eyes? I may like that. I couldn't trust your father. Can I trust you? I would never. class which which way do i turn it left i won't mind cleaning up after you oh yes Ryan showed me this. Dwight's ring is in the picture. Dwight's sand was duplicated when he discovered Mrs. Canock's body. Told you he was a killer. You didn't believe me. I had to do your job for you. Why don't you make yourself useful? Give her a ride home. Hey, uh, don't forget to say hello to your father for me when he gets back. I won't. I liked Brian. <laughs> so much feminine intuition. I want to go fast. Something about killing me on space and time. 
about killing in the future. God, he's crazy. What's that? It's not getting out of the way. It's my father. Shit, Brian! What? Brian, cut my brakes! Cut my brakes! Why? I'm gonna kill that goddamn Brian Woods. Electric shock, you should have gotten an electric chair. It's okay, Daddy. We're taking care of him. He's dead. He is? <laughs> what are you doing out here, Paula? What do you mean? Shouldn't you be in school? You're not cutting class, I hope. 